Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Rushers. We are going to go ahead and try to finish off the last three floors of the Goblin's Manor. We will see how it goes for us. Um, I don't recall it going too well before, did it? It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like a week and a half since I played. Uh, it's actually one problem with uh, me generally like recording episodes in bulk of a game. Uh, it's generally a lot longer before I get back to it, and uh, I typically tend to forget what I had done, at least in great detail. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very much glad to be back to playing this game. It's a fun game. Um, the, the whole point of us going through these next three uh, levels, by the way, is to... Ooh. Is to get some XP up and running and hopefully, um, well, get Melinda up to level 5 first and foremost, but then actually be good enough to continue on without having to worry about us dying repeatedly from lack of health and whatnot. Plus, you know, get some new items and new uh, components to see what we can make and hopefully help us out in the long run. We'll just have to see on that. Uh, does the armor break work? No, it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. So far, this floor has actually been a lot easier than I expected. Haven't found any new equipment, though, I'm really interested in. Uh, though... What are the goblin boots do exactly? Movement speed and crit chance? Mm. Melinda would probably suit from them the most in terms of crit chance, but I'll have to pass on that. Melinda, to me, is not really a uh, crit-based character. She is more of a just a... Uh, I, I, I guess I would put her more of as a mage tank-ish. Not exactly frontline, but not exactly meant to be in the back, either. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way in this place, of course. Especially considering all that was explored and there was nothing off to the left. Oh, there was that one tile down to the south there. We might have to check that out. These uh, two enemy fights, though, proven real, real nice because it's just free XP for us without having to be hit at all. Ooh. Oh, oh, shield break! Come on. It's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah, there's this really, but fine. I'll take it. Uh, stamina potion. For you, alien. Fortified armor. So, reduced parry, but increased physical resist. Uh, resist. Okay. I'm down for that, I guess. What? Text, will you go away off the screen? Goblin boots? Text? What? Text? Hopefully that gets rid of that text. There we go. <laughs> Text. Uh, we need to kill off this guy first. Alright. Um. I'm gonna do a spin attack just to get 8 damage apiece. I wouldn't be able to kill any one of them anyway, but then we'll be able to kill off that guy with Pod and Melinda. Didn't get a crit, unfortunately. Did not get to finish off the other guy. Oh well. Wasn't too much of an issue, but uh, yeah, they finally did a little bit of damage to us now that there was three of them instead of two. And finally, the treasure chest. Well, that's a loot and leave. I'm not going to hit the continue button until we can actually see what the hell we have. I remember doing that uh, last time I was recording too many times and then going on and not knowing what we actually got. It was, it was quite quite sad. I don't know why I kept doing that either. Uh, let's grab that, um, that, that. Ooh, the health potion for sure. Um, we have six of those already. I'm not, eh, not really interested. Okay, do we have anything we could sell? You know, it doesn't seem to be an inventory limit. So I'm just going to hold on to that stuff for now, because really, I, I don't want to gamble at all just yet. Um, Yavin Belt. What were we using for a belt before? Energy-based, right. Um, what is this? Tribal Belt? Okay, so that's just a new area that we have to get those materials in. Okay. 
Uh, on to the next floor of the manor. Oh, so I just noticed the uh, chest... Uh, ah, wow. Trap right off the bat. Uh, I just noticed that there were uh, expansions of the chest location on the, uh, the manor list for each floor. I don't think I recall seeing that before in the other manor. I wonder if that means that the uh, loot would be better further up in the uh, manor. I don't know. Um, didn't we also get a vampire dagger from one of these manors? I think on the fifth floor of the, the previous manor we got one, didn't we? I know we have two vampire daggers, one on Ellie and I think the other on Melinda, if I'm not mistaken. I was getting some weird, weird FPS issues. Jumping into a tile that has like a, um, a, an inspection event. It's kind of weird. That one didn't do it though. Yeah, I don't know. Something I, I'm just happening to notice, I don't know if you guys on the, uh, Video will actually be able to tell any problems like that, but it's the first time I've noticed it happening. Probably should have killed that guy first. Probably should have killed him first. Uh, now then the other guy would have been able to take a hit. I guess we were getting hit one way or the other. Okay, a whole lot of nothing. Two ninja goblins, huh? Hmm. Okay, let's see. What can we do? Um, yeah, only gonna be able to kill off one. If Thorgrim was a bit faster and was able to go before him, I would have had uh, Alien attack this guy instead of killing off the other one, and then Thorgrim probably could have finished them both off with a spin attack, but fortunately, that was not how that went. Um, I don't know which way to go there. It's a weird little split. Alright, you need to die first. And then... I'm gonna kill you next. Just because you have to light and then fire. Alrighty, so you are dead on this turn. Good, good. <clears throat> oh, treasure chest is right there. Good. Not going to hit continue. There we go. Goblin steel, goblin leather. Two each. 170 gold. I'll take it. Let's head back into the shop. What do you have for me now? Take that potion. Amethyst I'll take. The, the walnut I'll take for sure because that does not seem to drop too often. I'll just take those just because I can. I'm going to sell off one of those, however. Uh, still doing the whole, you know, limit of 10 type of thing of our resources and whatnot. Do you have anything in the workshop we can make now that I'd be interested in? Uh, health potion. We could actually make. I'm gonna do that. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Um, I don't see. Nothing screaming out to me right now. Alright. Now, for the final floor of the manor, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, here's a good example of what I was talking about. Like, the bottom two are pretty small. The next two are... A step up in size, but then like the last one's just the biggest. Yeah, well, I wonder if that's supposed to be indicative of uh, the the loot quality. I mean, generally, the further up and or I guess down in most games, uh, you go into a dungeon. Generally, the better loot it has, right? That's the way I feel anyway about that. Uh, so yeah, like. This being the furthest down level of the manor, quote-unquote, down anyway. I, I should expect the most difficulty here, and I should also expect the best loot. Also, I think after this floor, we might have to check out uh, the other manor. See if the loot did the same there. I just didn't really notice it, or if I did, I didn't make a comment about it, I don't think. Pretty confident I didn't make a comment about it. Three goblin gunners, huh? Okay, um... Let's see, can I go with this front one? I can. You are going to do a spin attack. Uh, Pod, you're going to kill off that guy. He's going to light. And then you should be... 
Not dead. What do, what do you have? 1 HP? 1 HP. Wow. Wow. That health. That health. Um, yeesh. Oh, wow. That was... That was a lot faster than I expected. So what do we get? Amethyst ring and a goblin hat plus 180 gold. I will take it and we shall head into the shop really quick. Uh, let's see. Mushrooms we have 10 of. Goblin shields don't really care. I'll take those. Take the goblin steel, the skull, and the walnut. Um, do we have anything we can sell? Nah, we should be fine for now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there, there's that goblin manor. Did did this one actually do the same with this chest? It did. And what about this one? Oh, that one did it as well. Oh, yeah, I, I, I apparently just never noticed. Um, an unexpected rescue? An unexpected rescue. I'm interested in that. Let's head in. We got about like nine minutes left of the episode anyway, so. The, uh, the, the, the manor went by really, really fast. A lot faster than I expected. Uh, what were the challenges in this, by the way? I think it was like a max of three potions and three abilities and no KO. I think those were the, uh, the things. Oh, uh, the shaman gets to go first before these two, huh? Um... Yeah, I figured he was gonna bring another guy in. Alright, let's see, can we do this? Can we prevent him from doing anything else? Like summoning in more guys? Um, you get to die. Ooh. Let's see, I'm gonna try to poison him. Didn't work. Fair enough, I'm gonna kill him off then. Gives those two guys two attacks over free because I can't do anything about it and... I'm gonna do that again. Just because Pod actually has quite a bit of mana. Really? Can't kill him off with Melinda. He died. Okay. I was a bit worried there for a moment. I thought they were going to get another attack on us. Another four damage or so. Would have not been pretty. Uh, I will take it. What do we have for me? Damage guard and leather, huh? Uh, max three potions, no KO, and 100% unveiling, so there's no limit on abilities. Got it. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to try to lullaby these guys. Simply because of the falling rocks are... stupidly annoying. Uh, where's that defend button? There it is. Alright, um... Oh. Wow. Those two did not get lullabied, huh? The goblin did, though. And you resisted the poison. Ooh. They, uh, are not like a pod. I don't think anyone in this game likes pod, actually. Thinking about it. Alright, I'm gonna see about killing you off. Okay. And then you will get to die now, and then Pod doesn't have to defend, and he is safe. I think I'm going to use one of my uh, three potions limit, though, on Pod here. Okay, so that's one out of the three. Thank God. Pod, you have some, some stamina left. Uh, speaking of stamina, how much was that dispel again? Cost five. Okay, so you can't use it again. Uh, yeesh. I hate doing that, but I will. That's the second or the third potion we can use. And where on earth is this taking me? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this since Elian and Thorgrim will get to go first. Get some health going back up on those guys. I am... Let's see, I'm gonna need two to kill him. 
And then I would need two to kill one of these guys. Okay, I'm going to use this on him. I'd rather have one gunner going off, or even maybe just him, than, uh... Actually, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to kill him off. Yeah, I, I didn't think the Orgrim could actually reach that gunner in the back there. Alright, who you can fire at? The pod? Really? The enemy's hatred toward Pod is so real. What's that? You're in the back? You must be important. Let's kill you. Oh! Take a look. What could this key-shaped metal object be used for? Um, could it be used as a key? No. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> far be it for me to suggest any silly theories, but uh, could it perhaps be a uh, key? Wow, is this the legendary dwarf intellect in action? <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Thorgrim reminds me, I, uh, reminds me of my character in the D&D campaign. Uh, but what do I do with it? Tell you where you could put it, but that would be impolite. Keep hold of it, you idiot. It will be useful for something. Ah, uh, goddammit. I like Thorgrim. Thorgrim's probably my favorite right now. Oh, found the door the key goes into. Hmm. Large wooden surface, hinges, a heavy metal lock. I'm going to in-depth. Quite simply, it's a door. And lock too, huh? So what should we do? We've never come across one of these before. All we found so far was a key. Just just tell me you're joking, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Ah. <clears throat> I know this might sound stupid, but just hear me out. Could this door have anything to do with this old key? No, that's impossible. But look, it's unlocking the door. Quick, let's go through. Linda, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Please, just tell me you were joking. I have to know. Trash Krog. Trash Krog? I. What? I don't know what kind of voice to give you, Trash Krog. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not gonna bother trying to do a voice for her. Huh? What are you doing here? You don't look like goblins. Don't speak too soon. You've never seen Elian trying to think. Don't cry anymore. Pod and his loyal follow rights are here. We come to deliver it to you from your bondage, young damsel. Even if your features do somewhat upset my aesthetic sensibilities. I'll give you features. It's Pod. Thank you. <laughs> Let me guess, Elian. She's wearing rags. We met her in a dungeon. And she hit Pod. You're going to ask her to join us, aren't you? I think hitting the minstrel should be one of the admission criteria for our group. Y yeah. Miss, my name is Elian, and I explore dungeons with my faithful companions. What are you doing locked up in here? My name is Trashkarag. I come from an orc village of honest bandits, robbers, and looters. Oh, wait. Honest? <laughs> okay. But a short while ago, represent re re representatives from a certain dungeon company came and told us that we were causing them problems. Apparently our raids were scaring off their clients. As a village shaman, I came here to negotiate. You know, she looked like a shaman. I was going to say something, but I didn't. I didn't want to be wrong, but I, I should have. Uh, but the talk stalled and they locked me up in here. They come with us. Till there, we can restart the negotiations, bring some more weight to the arguments. Is he calling me fat? He's calling all, us all fat. Woohoo, Josh Grog joined your, my team. Um. Um. So you should be in the bag automatically. You are. And you have points to spend. You are level 4. Holy crap. You have 6 points to spend. What do you do? What do you do, Trash Krog? Avoid a fight against a group of maximum 2 monsters. Okay, so we can do that. That's interesting. Trap detection detects and unveils a trap. Okay. Orc Vigor. You are immune to poison and burn effects, but that's uh, locked at the moment. It'd actually be very nice, because uh, a lot of the skeletons and whatnot had uh, burn effects on them, and I think some of these guys, but some of these orcs might have poison. I don't 100% remember. I think the ninja guy has, uh, the ninja goblin has a chance to uh, do poison. Uh, what are your fighting skills? Wolf attack summons a spiritual wolf which car uh, charges the target. Okay. Throws an explosive potion which affects all the enemies. Burn 20% chance and minus one health. Wow. That's not very powerful. Of a burn, anyway. It does last for four turns though. Uh, cost one mana does two magic damage. Or, d wait, magical power? Does two ma- it has two magical power? 
Okay, two damage. Uh, inflicts curse to an opponent's aligned. What what is cursed? Uh, minus two to magical power. A hundred percent chance for three turns. Cost two mana. Okay. So what do you have for us, Trash Karag? Increases the damage of explosive potion. Increases the damage of wolf attack. Yeah, we're going to confirm that and confirm that. And there was apparently an update because it's no longer just click and uh, you're done, huh? So that's interesting. What 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 is this? Increases the chance to inflict wolf afflicting uh, affliction when using wolf attack. But wolf affliction? I'm gonna I'm I'm going to actually uh, spend these points on the explosive thing just because I really like it and I, I'd rather much much rather increase the burn chance yeah 50% I'll take that uh, so what, what do we have to look forward to in the future it increases by when the effect level of burn when using explosive potion so we can get increased damage per tick uh, per turn if you will uh, so that's probably gonna be a three t burn damage if uh, that was at max rank Increases damage dealt by 20% on targets already affected by burn when using explosive potion. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, reduces the cost of explosive potion. We probably are going to grab that because right now this costs, what, three? Yeah, I'd like to bring that back down to two. Um, both of those brought it up by one. Okay, that's unfortunate, but uh, so be it. Um, Trash Krog, since I don't really have a whole lot for you right now, I guess you're going to get that. The Amethyst Ring. What do you have for the belt? Uh, shamanism degree? Proof of failure for the orc people. Wow. Uh, you get the orc. Or uh, the goblin hat, rather. Um, sure, you get a pair of boots and toga. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I kept a lot of this stuff. Do I have anything else for you? I can give you that as an offhand. At least bring your uh, armor physical resist back up to normal. Yeah, the only thing I don't have for you is a belt and a, uh, a necklace. An amulet, even. Okay, enough about that though, let's move on. Bye bye, here, there's a trap again. If only we could detect them, that would be great to anticipate. It was enough to ask, I took the trap knowledge option at the shamanism school. And you couldn't tell it earlier? Oh, I knew about it. But, you know, why bother? Sure, I'll use it. All traps have already... Oh. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. That was appreciated. Alright, so... This fight is going to be very simple, and apparently Trash Karag goes before Pod in terms of speed. Which is weird. Pod? What the hell is your speed at? 12? Trash Karag, what is your speed at? 13. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, yay, this again. Um. You have to weak this. <sighs> Do I lullaby? I'm going to lullaby. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Alright, uh, Thorgrim, I'm actually going to have you defend if I can figure out what key that is to hotkey. That'd be great, actually. And then, uh, Explosive Potion. Mutinous. Deal all of the AoE damage. Trash Krog's level 4, by the way, which is interesting. Kinda makes me feel like I'm slightly over leveled for this. Awesome, awesome. Alright, what do we have here? A barrel with dwarf beer in it. I'll take it. More enemies. Holy crap, that's a lot of enemies. 
little why it is, and uh, this episode's definitely running longer than I expected at this point. Yay, Trash Grug! Uh, yeesh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the vampirism. It's gonna work out better in our favor. Um, won't be able to kill these guys off, unfortunately. They have the option to go buy people. That's so annoying. So very very annoying. Well, we lost one of the challenges. Um. Hmm. If the chest is behind these people, I am taking it and leaving. Because these guys are going to do some serious damage to us. Alright, Shaman. What do you have for us? Mm, weakness, I'm okay with that. Um. Ow. Ow. Granted, that will mean that we've uh, taken one of the three challenges if we do that. Yeah. Well, that was a wonderful debate. <laughs> do you think they understood that I completely rejected their conditions? I'm not sure. I think we'll have to explain our point of view to them all, one by one. Well, one thing's for sure. With your help, I'll be able to lift the tyrannical yoke that weighs down on the beautiful mountains of my home. What? That was some flowery language. And there you go. He's managed to find someone just as fanatical as he is. I know. I don't know what we can do about it, though. How about singing a chanson to the glorious... Uh, gl glory... Gloriosity of our proud of fantabulous... What? Pod, I'm hating your dialogue more and more. Yes, we can, Thorgrim. Yes, we can. Go ahead, but go easy on him. I want to give him a few slaps, too, before he hit the sack. Yeesh. Hops, malt, thread, 105 gold. I will take it. We are still in the goblin territory, but uh, we need to end off the episode, and by that I mean we are going to head in here just for a brief moment as quickly as possible. There we go. Um, yeah, that'll be for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely a longer one than I intended, but uh, we have our fifth party member. I wonder if there's going to be any more in the future if we get to uh, sort them out. I kind of feel like there might be, but uh, we will see. There's definitely a lot to this map that we have not actually uh, explored. Like the, the rest of the Goblin area, the High Peaks Canopy, nothing there. Leanland's nothing there. Um, all, of, all of the south bit there, there's nothing. Nothing. There, there's a lot of map left. Ocean where nobody ever goes. Best kind of ocean. And I just moved the window. <laughs> Instead of the map. Good job, me. Uh, anyway, yeah, that'll be it for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Until next time, as always, take it easy.